queen of the stitch, my girl Dane the Dane. Hello there, my crafty knitters. Welcome back to the Knitted Oaks channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make a cow um, out of a pattern that was made for a scarf. Alright, so this is the meandering scarf that I told you I was working on for my dad's B-Day, and this is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. Um, I'm using, in case you're wondering why it's so um, bulky, my fave yarn, Thick and Quick, in cilantro. Um, and it's very wide. This is not the intention I had for the scarf as far as width. Um, and even though my dad is a tall man and he's, you know, with the bulkiness, it, it he would have been fine with it. But I decided um, to make it into a cowl instead. So I've done about, let me just measure this here with you guys to let you know the exact measurements. I'm using just a little tape measure I got from a local yarn shop. It's about 27 and a quarter inches long. And I believe the pattern calls for it to be like 60 or 65. Okay, so I could have gone on and on, but this is already one ball of thick and quick and a half, a ball and a half. Um, I still have this much left on the second ball. So, I mean, I could have gone further, but it still wouldn't have been long enough to complete the 65 or 60 plus however inches it needed. Anyway, so all you're going to need for this is a tapestry needle. And you can do this with any pattern. It doesn't have to be this one. Um, this is just what I have right now so I can do a demonstration for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two ends, make sure that... Um, the side where you weaved in your stitches, if it's all on one side, I was lucky enough that it was all on one side with this one. And even if it's on the other side, you can use your tapestry needle or um, a, a crochet hook and pull the, the, the end that needs to be weaved in all onto one side. So now I'm going to go back to that same ball of yarn and take my tapestry needle. And this is, um, this is how I also do it in my... Um, weaving in the ends video okay and then I just leave like that little tail left and you can drag it all the way to whatever preference but I always leave it like that okay so making sure all my odd ends are inside what I'll do is I'll flip it over because when I'm done um, sewing up the sides it's um, gonna turn inside out and so all these things will be on the other side. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay. So holding the two corners together like so, I'm going to take the needle with the yarn and just go into the corner. Let's see. Just choose a corner where you want to insert it. And do like so. And obviously I didn't choose a good one because it's getting stuck. I don't want it to get stuck between the yarn. But I, I um, was going to do it down here, but I decided I'm going to go up closer because I want this pattern to show on the other side as well. So I'm going to go a little closer in the top. There we go. And I just pull, I pull excessive amounts of yarn out only because it's better to have too much than too little you don't want to get midway into your project into your sewing and then oh you don't have enough yarn okay and so um, you can get as fun as you want now I'm not gonna do the the loop over method like that I'm gonna go in between Dana what are you talking about I'm gonna show you so I take my tapestry needle and I go in like this and bring it out on the other side of this. Hopefully you saw how I did that. And then I just pull the yarn. Okay. And then you just do that. Keep going until you get to the end of your project. So, it's like a little sewing, but you're using yarn, so it's not as painful. Trust me, sewing in my book is painful. And I do as much things as I can to avoid sewing. See, you can't even tell where I'm starting or finishing, which is the plan. 
And you just keep going along the top like this. So now we're approaching the end of our little task here. Um, and it's coming along great on my end. I hope it's the same for you. Um, and I'm, I'm not even pulling too tight. Like the yarn is thick enough that it just, it's very sturdy. Alright, so now that we're done closing off the top of our cowl, I just want to take the yarn over a little bit on the side to make sure that it's closed. So I wanted to show you guys that really quickly. And then I'll go back. You could you, you just close this any way you want. Like it's there's no right or wrong way. This is just personal preference at this point. And I'll even go ahead and weave it into one of the stitches here just to so I can tie it off properly. And I leave a little loop and pull it through, which is also clearly demonstrated a little better on my weaving in the ends Vic tutorial. All right, and then I have this little knot, and then I get any little scissors I have and just cut off a good end like that. Like that right there. Okay, then going back to the other end that's still controlled by the ball, I still have this little opening right here that needs to be closed because this is where we started. So I'm going to pull that tight, and I'm going to give it like a decent amount of tail and just cut it because, again, it's better to have enough better to have more than not enough when you need it so same method here yep, and I just pull that through and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this end just to make it a lot neater So this is it, and this is like the sides with the little stuff. And then, you know, the pockets are on the side, and that's where his neck is going to go. So we're going to turn this inside out. And so your meandering scarf, oh, and this is what the other end looks like. So I'm going to take pictures of the recipient wearing it. That's what I try to do as much as possible. And so that's nice and neat and it has room to stretch if need be for whatever reason but I'll demonstrate real quick what it looks like on there you have it isn't this lovely ah uh, when I realized that it would take me way too much skeins of yarn to do this into a scarf I said look and my mom crocheted him a scarf, which he's like wearing all the time. So I'm just like, okay, well, I can't compete with that. So I'll just do a cow. And I must say, I am loving it. Now, if need be, he wants to cover his mouth. That's when the design will show. Look how gorgeous that is. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Remember, knitting is sexy. Bye. Do you like it, darling? Mm. It's so soft and warm in here. Okay. Stay tuned for pics. Bye. Show let you pick your color, let you pick your style, and her low, low prices make it worth your while. So hit up the web, stop, stock up your pile, so you can keep your body warm in such a day with a smile.